let's close this down and in the connection manager don't forget to change this to lesson 8 or whatever you named it in your app config file let's run it and test it let's do the hello world first click invoke and it returns this let's put in a value of 1 so it's going to connect to the to the database that I have hosted and return true or false and return true so let's close this down so right click on the solution add new website go to WCF service the location we, we, we want to name it lesson 8 WCF and then click OK let's close this down let's go into the app code and let's delete these two files because we do not need them let's rename this service to be stat.svc let's right click we're going to add reference projects and the lib and you'll see it created this DLL for us let's open our comp stat service and let's delete let's change this to be lesson oh, lesson 8 l i b dot c status and we can delete this code behind if you're not certain what to put in the compstat service you can go into your app config file and look at the system.service model, find the name, and this is the value which goes. So let's right click the web config file, edit WFC. Let's click on the service. We're going to rename the service. <clears throat> click on the bin directory on this DLL, and then on that. Let's expand this. Go to the endpoint, this WS HTTP binding. Right click it and let's, let's delete that one. OK. Let's right click, let's add a new service endpoint with basic HTTP binding. And the contract it will be bin lesson 8 lib lesson 8 lib IC status. Do file, save, and then file, exit. Let's open the web config file and let's delete. We don't need anything in here besides this service model. So let's delete everything under the configuration. Let's delete this too. So open your app config file and navigate scroll down to where you see the system.service model let's delete this we don't need this we don't need this let's rename this uh, WS to be basic and the address we do not need Identity we do not need. Let's delete this. And it should look something like this. So let's close down the app config and web config. Open Solution Explorer. Right click on comp stat and select view in browser. And you should see this.
To deploy this, you want to create a bin directory on your web server uh, and deploy this DLL and this PDB file to the bin directory and then create a create an application directory uh, and place the this compstat.svc within that application di directory. In conclusion, we reuse from Lesson 3, Lesson 4, and their prerequisites. We consume the company status service from a Windows form. We consume the company status service from an ASP.NET application. And we created a consumable WCF service.